So the GOAT multi-tool was just released. Pretty exciting, but there's already haters. I love the tool, but here's five reasons why people are already hating on the tool. First reason is because, as far as I can tell, it's made in China. Now, that's to keep price down, but that is something that has bothered a lot of people. So I think the reason why is because there's been a lot of mod modular multi-tools in the past. This is the Corky right here. We reviewed this in the past. It has a ton of different tools that you can put in, blade, wood sole, serrated blade, all those kinds of things. And a tool like this, and you can swap them in and out. This even has a very bad set of pliers, a huge knife, but it's just pretty poor quality. It's very odd sort of unique. They have a whole Victorinox set of style tools here, tweezers and so forth, but it's just really done poorly. So whenever people say, hey, brand new modular multi-tool, it's made in China, they probably think of something bad like this. Now, the next reason is because of price and supply. Now, the GOAT multi-tool, from what I understand, is on Indigo. I've seen it for $100, but it says it's 30% off. So does that mean it's going to be somewhere around that $130 mark eventually? If so, then that's uh, more expensive, rather, than the Leatherman Charge that was just on sale recently for $120. So that is definitely going to be a turnoff for some people. Now, obviously the GOAT multi-tool needs to be expensive so they can get money, so they can make parts, so they can stockpile and so forth. But for many people, they're not going to want to invest in that platform when there is something like Leatherman Charge. Now, what is a multi-tool in the past that maybe has had some of these issues? I think maybe the Gerber 650 Evolution. This multi-tool had multiple heads. You could swap it in and out. But eventually, along the way, Gerber failed or there was not enough support. And now you can no longer buy these. And these have skyrocketed to about three to $400. Very expensive anymore to pick these up. All right, the third reason is because it's not Leatherman. That's going to be the reason it's not Leatherman. So many people love, love, love Leatherman that if it doesn't have that Leatherman trademark logo on it, many people will just not pick it up. So the GOAT multi-tool has an uphill battle already just because it's not Leatherman. What's a modular multi-tool that I think is fantastic that people aren't getting? It's this cheap Chinese plier set on Amazon the last time I checked, and you can actually swap out these plier heads. Pretty amazing. You have got, let's see, you've got wire strippers, and I didn't get that in there quite right, but anyway, you've got wire strippers, you've got these heavy duty pliers, you've got cutters, you've got gardening shears, all kinds of really cool stuff in this set but it doesn't look like they've really taken off and I've hardly seen any reviews on what I think is a very innovative tool set. One of the reasons why, because it's not Leatherman. Now, if Leatherman had done this, maybe, maybe it would have gone better. The fourth reason is sometimes people say modularity means it's not tough enough. Case in point, the... Mayhew 17945. That's sort of a mouthful, but this is a multi-tool we just recently reviewed. And this is going to be, I think it's around $50 that it goes for. You can fold it up like so. Let's see. And then it becomes pretty much like a skeletal. You can you put the quarter inch right here in the bed driver. Well, actually, you can't. This one has, I think, its own bit, and that's one of the issues with it. And those bits are actually right here. And then you can pull these out, and those work. So that's one of the issues with it. But one of the other issues is that, you know, it is a little cheap, and a lot of people see this as just not tough. Now, it does some neat stuff. There's not many multi-tools that you can take things apart like this that are modular. But this one is just seen as not being tough enough. And rightly so, this one. But even if it was a great multi-tool, a lot of people would probably say, well, I'd rather invest in a tougher tool. 
So one of the tools also it makes me think about is the Coleman Prolock. This is one of those gems that people don't usually talk about. This was made, I think, in 98 or so. 1998 it came out. And Coleman made this multi-tool with handles that came out. And you could use them separately. I think it's a fantastic idea, but it never took off. And they had this idea about making all kinds of different tool sets for it. This side did the same way, and maybe they'd have a woodsman and mechanic and all kinds of stuff like that. But no one was ever interested. Why? Maybe people thought, well, it's just not a tough enough multi-tool. So finally, we come to modularity means work. It means work. There's pieces to lose. There's a ton of pieces. Now, with the GOAT multi-tool, there's things you can swap in. There's things you can swap out. You've got to keep them in a place. Maybe you'll lose some. Will GOAT multi-tools be around long enough to honor their 100-year warranty? I don't know. And I think one of case in point is the Leatherman Tread. Now, this is not the Leatherman Tread. This is the knockoff version. But the Leatherman Tread failed. Why? Well, it does have a bunch of moving pieces. There's links you can swap in and out. And sometimes at the end of the day, people would just prefer a multi-tool that's all put together. They don't have to worry about anything falling out and they can just reach in their, into their pocket and just use the tool. So those are five reasons why I don't think they're good reasons, all of them, but those are five reasons why people have mentioned that they don't really care for the GOAT multi-tool. Now, I still think you should buy it. From what I've seen, it's a pretty amazing tool, and it could definitely change things up in the multi-tool world, but be aware that there will be haters and people that are not interested in the tool. Well, I'll see you in the next video.